Here we are on the Jackson's Bay Wharf. Beautiful day. But you can see there's still a lot of cloud cover on the high tops over there, so it's a lot clearer today than what it was yesterday. Surprisingly, there are no camper vans here. They do come down here, more so in the summer, but it's been raining for a few days, which has probably put them off, and they've continued on their circular route around the South Island, um, not coming any further south than Harst. A lady who's a, one of the locals here was telling me yesterday that they catch quite a few sharks, grey boy and uh, probably dogfish and so on, off the wharf here, along with perch, some blue cod, and uh, various other species. So we'll have to give that a bit of a go. It really is a sort of wild country. You can see that bush up above. That's looking north up the coast there. It's really going to be good surf casting off that beach over there I'm picking. Let's see if we can have a bit of a fish. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I tell you, gorgeous on a lovely sunny day like this. This is uh, early October. Just wonderful. We've got to do it. We've got to come to these places. Commercial fishing boats moored off Jackson Bay Wharf. Note the winches for lifting the clay boats. There's a good trail boat launching straight off the beach at Jackson Bay. This big trailer boat would make an excellent fishing platform. Keep in mind that this is a wild and isolated part of New Zealand. If you get into any sort of boating trouble, help is a long way away. There's good surf casting at Jackson Bay. Look for an offshore wind and use a variety of boats, including crab and shellfish if you can, to target the and elephant fish. Yeah. There you we'll get the old pliers and we'll take that hook out of them. Yeah, they try to reach around and bite you, but uh, it's not quite that dexterous. I'll wait another wave coming up. There we go. There you go, mate. He's off. Jackson Bay is a great place for a fishing trip. You need to be self-sufficient. The nearest shop or petrol station is 50 kilometres away, back in Harst. <laughs> 